All right, good evening, folks. Today I'm at a glorious county lake, one of my favorite to fish. And we're gonna do something special today. I got me a new eight foot six ultralight, pretty specialized, mainly for trout fishing. But I'm gonna use it to do some super, super lightweight ultralight fishing. It's brand new, got a new Akuma reel, two pound test line. And I'm gonna be throwing fly rod poppers tipped with some worms. It's a technique I've used in the past and I, I catch a lot of fish doing it. I don't know if anybody else does it, but I like to show it to y'all today because you know, even the smallest fish on this setup is gonna feel like a monster. But if I happen to catch, you know, a two pound bass or a big, big bluegill he's gonna feel like a giant so should be fun and some of y'all are thinking why would you get eight foot six on the rods and I'm gonna tell you it's gonna help me cast because I'm gonna be casting lures that don't have no weight and so the extra length almost acting like a fly rod should help me cast and then secondly, this pole will second as a jigging pole during the crappie spawn season. So I'm pretty excited about that. So let me get rigged up here and I'll show you what I'm doing. All right, got all eight foot six inches of rod wired up. Hoping to catch a couple little bluegill as well. And they're gonna be bait should be a good evening for catfish got the wind blowing in on this point so after I fish here for a while we'll jump in on that catfishing and get going great lake for that as well I think with the watercolor that we got we'll go with the brightness here don't ask me what color it is bright yellow bright green one of those two Definitely got to check your drag when you're using the slide of line. Because, you know, a little bluegill will actually have a pretty good chance of snapping it. So you definitely want to check it. The worms I'm using today are these dancing rascals. They're the little, little red worms. I found in the past if I use night crawlers, even chunks of night crawlers, they tend to, you know, sink the sink the popper because they're heavy. So I opted to go with these these guys here. So we'll just
and the cool thing about the worm really is it gives you a little bit of extra weight too a little bit of extra weight and a little bit of smell I don't know if you've ever fished with two pound test line. Sometimes it can be annoying. But that cast right there was probably a solid 20 yards and there is absolutely no weight on here. So that's why I got the long pole. Ooh, look at that right when it hit the water Woo. all right that is bait that is bait ah uh. I'm getting excited. It's my first topwater action in a long time. Oh, that it. Oh, shit. Excellent. There we go. You just gotta let them take it. Look at that. Tell me this isn't cool, man. You get your kids out here and do this. I'm 35 years old and this is a good time. This is a big bluegill. Big bluegill. I have enough for bait, so he's going back. Another Mondo bluegill here. Look at that, boys. These are the. They always peeing. Always peeing on you. He wanted it. I got him right between the eyes. Never fails. Every time I'm looking at the reel, ooh, they're lit over here. That's two bites. That's two bites. Let's try this shit again. Give it a little dangle over there. There we go. Ooh, shoo. Ooh. I'm telling you right now, anybody can do this. Go get you an ultralight, some two pound line. And these poppers are cheap, man. They're cheap. 
look how big that that's that's a big one look how big he is he'd eat good he would eat good Ooh, we got us another one. Oh, get away from that tree, boy. Get away from that tree, boy. Get away from that tree, boy. No, oh shit. Another big. There we go. Oh, you bitch. Another bull bluegill. That's a good note to end it on. All right, guys. I just want to recap this video before I get it online for you. We did stay for two, two and a half hours after the end of the bluegill fish and tried to catch some catfish. Didn't have any luck. Stayed for, again, two, two and a half hours. Had good bait. Just weren't able to make it happen. I feel like... The east wind had a little bit to do with that, but you know, sometimes you win, sometimes you lose. We definitely lost. Um, but we are able to put some nice bluegill on the bank using light line and that fly right there tipped with some worm and still had a great time. Just kind of highlights the way I look at fishing, man. If it's one thing's working, great. If one thing's not working, we'll try something else to, to make sure I catch fish. So that's how I usually roll. Um, if you guys want to see me fish for anything, like I said, I fish for bluegill all the way up to flathead. Let me know in the comments, and I'll go make it happen. Um, but other than that, thank you for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And like I said, if you have any comments, suggestions, anything like that, I'm still learning this whole videography thing. Put those down in the comments, too, and let me know what you